Alright guys, today we're going to be doing a quick review on the Open World AI Spawn System. This is a multiplayer version that I had. They also have a single player version. But this can really squeeze a lot of FPS and performance out of a game with a lot of enemies or even like a town with a lot of NPCs in it. So let's jump right into it. I have the demo project and how this works is if you have, you guys have probably noticed if you've been building games and stuff for the last while. When you start adding NPCs in, they start walking around, you have a bunch of enemies, you'll notice your FPS dip down. Mine is set at max 60 FPS right now, and it's probably going to dip down a little bit, but that's due to my recording software. It has nothing to do with the asset. When I test this and I have max FPS on, it's always like 111 and never really dips down. So, like I said, you have an AI manager in your scene, and then you can set up the zones for where the AI spawn in. And a great thing about this is if you have enemies chasing you, they don't despawn if they're chasing you. So it's it's really cool in that aspect. So you don't have like enemies popping and disappearing where they shouldn't be. So as soon as I click play, I'm just going to eject out for a second. And you'll see that there's no enemies spawned in here. Only just the base NPC area because I'm overlapping the, um, the trigger. So when I come in here, my FPS is still at 60 and the ticks are really low here it's probably just my character super optimized so that's great and as I go out into the world there's nothing out here but as soon as I overlap the spawners here's a bunch of enemies and my FPS is still even though I'm recording staying at 60 which is really good these guys are all chasing me and then when I go to a new zone it's gonna spawn in some more enemies and these guys that are chasing me are still there and there's a ton more here so we have a ton of enemies on the screen right now just like that and I've stacked this up as far as 111 120 enemies and it's just it just keeps consistent with the FPS it doesn't really drop which is crazy even more so we have a ton of enemies a big swarm even more enemies here like this is a pile of AI on the screen right now haven't had a single dip in FPS so yeah they killed me but optimization this is insane absolutely insane so with this what you have is you have your structures of enemies and the tutorials on discord for this are next level the this guy has never not answered a single question I've seen posted in the last couple years I've been using this so you're going to get next level support. I personally use this in combination with the AI Behavior Toolkit, which I highly recommend as well. Probably the best AI toolkit on the market. And I'm going to do a review on that as well because I think that's probably one of the best assets you could have for AI in combination with anything. So I've also got a tutorial, or not a tutorial, I have a pre-merge done for this. So if you own both kits, like the Open World Multiplayer and you own the AI Behavior Toolkit, I have a merge done so you don't have to spend a couple hours merging these together. You can download this. It's a drag and drop kit. So it doesn't include, don't get too excited because it doesn't include the AI Behavior Toolkit, only the replacement base asset. And from the spawn system, it only has the structures and cast nodes done for you. So. It'll save you a ton of time if you have both systems and you want to use them together because this is next level when you combine these two. So just a little side note there. Does not include either asset. You do have to own both and have them in the project and you have to have paid for them or this just doesn't work. It doesn't include anything. Only the code that's necessary to do the merge is in this kit. So that's available free. And the information to do this is also on the Discord. Uh, the Discord, Discord, somewhere here. AI Behavior Toolkit, fantastic. That's this guy's Discord here. And he has like a ton of tutorials. He answers every single question. Like he's back to everybody right away. Fantastic developer. This guy's helped me in the past. He's helped everybody I've seen with any question. Right up until like recently. He just responds to everybody. Don't want to get into too much detail in the in the uh, locked discord here but you can see that he responded to everybody and that's all you really need to know for it so 
in terms of features, this does exactly what it says, and even better than I thought it could. I didn't think I would get the performance that I do out of it, but you guys can clearly see as well. It's it's crazy. The uh, so five out of five on that. The optimization five out of five. The support is definitely a five out of five. All around, I got to give this a solid five out of five. If you're looking for a spawn system for multiplayer that's replicated, works pretty well out of the box. You can use it with any structure of characters you have. So if you have like a base zombie character all set up and you have a bunch of children of that parent, you can set up that as your structure and and you can follow this tutorial and make it work with any structure of characters that you have. So works really well out of the box. So all in all, five out of five, this is a fantastic system. If you're looking for that pre-merge kit, I'll link that as well, or you can pick it up on my Discord. It's freely available there, and hopefully you guys can check this out, have a look at it. Maybe it'll help you guys with your project. Maybe you're looking for a ton of zombies in your world as well as some NPCs in a little town. I think this is the one for you. I don't have the single player version. I don't own it, but the multiplayer version is just next level, and, and most of my stuff is multiplayer, so be sure to check it out. Hopefully this helps you guys if you're on the fence about picking this up, or maybe you're looking for that... Uh, AI multiplayer spawner. This one works great. And just on a side note, I've tried to combine this with there's an NPC manager, I think it was called. It was free for the month. It's uh, this one here, NPC optimizer. When I added this in on top of it, it actually increased it even more, which is, is crazy. I don't know what it does, but it's not necessary, but it even increases the performance even more when you stack it, which is crazy. So just a side note there, hopefully it helps you out, and have a great day.